Well, I'm going to say, instead of composure, I'm going to say will to win. Because as I told him after, when you have the eight or nine turnovers, I think they missed a couple. But, um, you know, his thing, he's got an unbelievable will to win. I mean, he, he wills the team in that, uh, you know, he wants to take the last shot. He wants to take the big shot. He wants to make the play. And it got, it got him in some trouble tonight at times, you know. But he, but he, he fought through it and uh, was able to make some big plays at the end, was able to... Uh, I mean, I think that his, his ability, you know, when you, when you get nine steals in a game and you just change the complexion of the game so much at that end, um, and it got us aggressive. You know, we played, we played like a young team. We played well at times, and we struggled at times. You know, we, when, we, when we get out of our, our, our comfort zone, we lose maybe some of our discipline. You know, that's when we look a little bit chaotic. But uh, uh, the one thing it will do is it'll, our fans will be cheering and, Booing in the same play many times, but our guys, they'll, they'll play hard, they'll compete, and they'll keep them on the edge of their seats. Flip, uh, Andre yesterday talked about the fact that he needed to get the ball in the hole. He put that jumper in the regular yeah. and everything else in the overtime, he took to the dish. Yeah. Got fouled a few times. I think that's what he you know he needs to do, especially late when you're maybe a little bit tired. And he's he's a work in progress, you know, trying to get tired. I mean, he could have... He had a very easily a you know 35 point game on his hands, you know, and um, but you know he made those big free throws. I think the biggest thing was our guys made we made some plays down the stretch. You know we didn't give up. You know we used the utilized our timeouts and our clock. Our guys fouled right away, went after steals, almost had two steals, you know, in that last minute, and then fouled the, to play the the foul game and. And uh, we were able at the end, like, you know, Cartier to make a big shot to, to put us in a situation where Dre, you know, could be effective and could do those things. Coach, what does it say for the confidence and the personality of this team going forward that John Wall's built to win? Well, I think, that, you know, they'll all build on it. I mean, and they'll get more confident. And he's, you know, the, the one thing we talked about in training camp, uh, we called it, uh, we, we had one of our speakers out there talked about failing quickly, that when you fail, forget about it. And get back up and make something happen. And uh, tonight, you know, he failed in some of his turnovers, but he didn't get down and he got back up and made something happen. And I think as a team, I think that will carry over with your team, and your team will hopefully become more resilient. You don't know what Nick was able to give you in the first half. You guys were starting off slowly. Yeah, he came in, hit some big shots, and I told him not only his offense, his defense was good. You know, he's for some reason I hate to say, it, but he's played pretty good, you know, against. AI, you know, Iguodala. And um, I thought he did a pretty nice job as far as defensively. And, uh, um, and, you know, he played, you know, he, like I said, he played well. You know, Nick is so much, you know, if he gets that first one to go, a lot of times he can really get it going. But he, you know, he stuck with things tonight. You've got contributions from Nick and Cardi. Talk about you play your bench overall. The bench is good. You know, Hilton was really good for us. You know, Javel picked up that first, those first two fouls to come out of the game. He came in. Excuse me, and play extremely well, you know, in the things that he did. And, uh, you know, I think the guy that kind of goes unsung tonight just because he didn't score a whole lot, you know, he scored 12, was Al Thornton. You know, Al was really good. Defensively was good. And uh, he hit a huge shot. It was either a five- or three-point game. He hit two huge shots. One, he hit one shot to put us up, you know, in the one sequence in the overtime. He hit another shot at the end to kind of keep us in that three, three, three range, you know, as far as three points. So uh, we had a good contribution from a lot of people. You know, we, as a young team, we made some mistakes, but we fought through them. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to, you know, to keep on getting better and better. Yeah, I told our guys we were two and one tonight. We won two and we lost one. <laughs> it felt like we played three games tonight, you know. Um, but I, you know what? I'll tell you what. I think as an as an organization, um, you know, we talked about this through training camp as far as building that we know we're going to go through these times, you know. And, and we could, you know, we feel real good right now. We're one shot away from feeling really bad, you know. And then saying, well, if we would if we would have if we would have left one less mistake or made one more play, we would have won. And so it's going to be progress. You know, it is going to be progress. But I think that because what we know where we're heading, and we know that uh, we've got a great player in John Wall to build on, that you know we're going to get there. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take us, and that we're going to have to go through growing process. And guys are going to make mistakes, but we have to learn from it. And what we hope happens that you uh, you don't keep on making the same mistakes over and over again. Coach, talk about this team's ability to close. Uh, last season, this game probably would have gone the other yeah. way. Part of it was guard play. You know, when you have a guard that can create, make a shot happen, as John can create something for somebody out of nothing, and get to the basket, or he can either score or get fouled, and then you know Kirk gives us 
you know, good leadership as far as on the floor, um, you know, being able to maybe make the right decisions. Um, you know, we try to get the ball to Dre sometimes, and we had some guys, enter, John entered it twice, turned it over. You know, at the end of the game, we ran a play to Zipper Kirk up and have Kirk be the entry guy, and he got the ball to Dre so Dre could get that last score. So it's something that might go unnoticed, you know, passing into the post, but it's something that, you know, like last year, maybe, we maybe couldn't have got the ball into there where Kirk had the ability smart enough in order to do that. So um, um, he's, like I say, he's kind of the glue as far as, you know, with, with the team. Well, we came off, you know, really, we, it was kind of the, probably the second option. You know, we were using Kirk as a decoy. We were going to, you know, roll Nick back. And after Nick rolled back, then Cartier was going to kind of come as far as, you know, you know right behind him. So um, I'm not saying that he's worked on that shot a lot, you know. <laughs> but uh, I guess, um, you know, it's only fitting that, that he makes that shot with Mrs. Poland sitting in the front row. You know, it was nice to see her there. And I'll tell you the other thing is, is that we had a great crowd tonight. I mean, the crowd was really into it. I think that they they see the enthusiasm that John brings to you know to this to the city and to the, you know, into our arena, and uh, you know they're going to be at the edge of their seats a lot. So it was hopefully we'll get those people coming back. You know, we come back after after our New York game. But it was fun to see those people, and they were into the game, which and we gave them something to cheer about. I think that's the biggest thing. And one thing I've learned here in the time I've been here in over, a little over a year is that if you you come in and you play hard, the, you know the fans of DC will respect you for competing and playing hard and that's what our guys did. Right. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about that play. You know, I think that yeah, I talked about failing quickly as as coaches too. You know, you can't uh, you can't remember what's happened. You got to. We had 3.1 seconds to go, and we got to try to find a way to, you know, to get our guys and put them in a, at least put them in a situation where we had a chance to tie the game up. So that was my, you know, that was my concern. Now after the game, would I be? Am I concerned that we gave up, you know, 40 in the fourth? And I told our players, you know, one, what I've always, I'm always say a lot that one play can change the game. You never know when that play is going to happen. And for Philadelphia standpoint, the play that changed the game for them was the the three pointer by Lou Williams when we were up ten and the clock was winding down and he threw up a three, hits it, and we go and we turn it over twice. Now all of a sudden it's a one point game. You know we're kind of going back and forth. You know at that point, and then for us, you know Cardi hits a three and that changes the game. So you never know when it's going to happen. That's why you got to play every second of the of the game.